I am the swimway. I have seen lots of people and ships in my waters. Too many. Most of them come and take sea turtles, sharks, and fish from my waters and give nothing in return. I remember this ship for those reasons, but this time was different. A new group of people using this old fishing vessel came together to give back to me. This is their story. We're here to gather data about the endangered species that migrate along the Cocos Galapagos Swimway. Essentially, it's a corridor uh, along which endangered sharks, whales, and, and turtles swim. The thing is, once they leave the boundary of one protected area, they're vulnerable to fishing for hundreds of miles until they reach the next one. There were 21 of them from six different countries. I watched with curiosity, but they were studying me even more closely. We're using these things called bruvs, okay? So that means uh, baited remote underwater video stations. Essentially, it, it's a rig with two cameras that are slightly angled towards each other and a bait at the end of the stick. So both cameras point at the bait and we deploy these in the ocean and then we pick them up after a couple of hours and. That allows us to characterize the biological communities at these different seamounts and, and, of course, the area as a whole. Then comes the tagging. We have a couple of different types of technology. Um, one is acoustic technology, and on top of that, we'll put a satellite tag on the shark. So this, will, this gives us a position so you can actually track the animal along its pathways. And using the two technologies, you can figure out whether there's some kind of pattern in the animal's behavior. It was remarkable how diligent they were. They spent 20 days with me, traveling 1,800 miles. As animals swim around the ocean, they shed, you know, bits of scales and, and stuff like that. And so their DNA is floating in the water. We can extract that from the water sample, and that way we can tell you know, what's been there. The data tells you a story. It allows us to identify the, the hidden diversity of the ocean. That's why I'm a scientist, right? I mean, that's what scientists are, just kids who never stopped asking why. This is when I knew they were different. They were here to help. The objective of this trip is to really bring the world's attention to the swimway. We're lucky enough to have these two crown jewels, Cocos and Galapagos, which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. That also gives us a responsibility to protect them. These are places that millions of people depend on for the local economy, tourism, climate resilience, and for their own sustenance. The data that we've gathered on this expedition clearly show that Ecuador and Costa Rica must create no-take reserves that connect the entire swimway. I've seen lots of people in ships in my waters, but I'll always remember this ship. Its crew understood that my species have no boundaries, that I'm a root of life. To these people, I say, you're always welcome. 